American coaster enthusiast recognizes Great American Scream Machine at Six Flags Over Georgia as an ace roller coaster landmark, a designation reserved for rides of historic significance. Two years after Six Flags Over Georgia opened to the public on June 16, 1967, new park manager Errol McCoy envisioned a Coney Island style addition to the park, including a large wooden coaster and a parachute drop ride. Though his concepts did not come to fruition immediately, following a change of Six Flags ownership in the early 1970s, McCoy was able to resurrect his dream and proceed with building a large wooden coaster to anchor the newest expansion section of the park, Cotton State's Exposition. The new area, featuring a turn-of-the-century Georgia Fairgrounds theme, opened March 31, 1973. Noted coaster designer John C. Allen of the Philadelphia Toboggan Company drafted a beautiful 105-foot-tall, 3,800-foot-long L-shaped out-and-back creation along and over a picturesque lakefront setting. Allen was assisted by structural engineer William L. Cobb and consultant Don Rosser in the design. Construction was headed by Robert Cowan and PTC's James L. Martz. Featuring a top speed of 57 miles per hour, Great American Screen Machine provides a beautiful patriotic backdrop to the area with its extensive white structure, blue handrails, and red track bed. Two PTC-built trains painted to resemble an American flag carry on that theme. Ace applauds Six Flags Over Georgia for its continued preservation of Great American Scream Machine, the first wooden coaster to be built in a Six Flags theme park.